can I please bite a chunk out of that ass? Listen, once when I was a wee lad, I played this game, all right? Like a year or two years after it came out on the 360. Uh, for like 15 minutes, and then I never touched it again. Out of all the Xbox 360 games I kept from my childhood, this one is literally as good as new. It's like it's straight from the store. Others though, uh... You know the thing is, I can't quite remember why or what was going on at the time that made me drop it. Maybe if I just think... Um... Oh yeah. We need every species and all their ships. Got it. So you could say I was definitely cooped up at that time. But anyways, around a month ago, or well, I think it was two months ago actually, I was having my usual, you know, 4am doom scrolling on YouTube, when all of a sudden I started getting recommended Mirror's Edge videos. PERFECTION! Play before it's too late. Still one of a kind. Etc, etc. So of course, neuron activities in the brain. I have the 360 version still here. I have the Steam version that I bought for TWO GREAT BRITISH SHILLINGS. So hey. I might as well give it a shot. And um... Oh my god. Oh, wait! I am. I guess I'm supposed to run here. Oh yeah. Hi. Oh, I'm not making that. I'm not making that part. <laughs> oh my god. Why does, why does it smell like alcohol right now? Okay, I saw pipes. Oh my god. Woo! I'll say that does capture. Oh my god! What is that? Uh, through them? Oh! Enemies need to get through our marks red with run a vision of either. And hold this. Give me that gun. Give me that gun. Can I not pick up the gun? Lady, pick up the gun. Oh my god, you're stupid. Alright, I'm gonna just hard to strafe. I'm gonna just hard to strafe. I'm gonna just hard to strafe. Damn! Tabara smacked me! Domestic violence! Got you! Oh my god, that shit hard. I just. Alright, let's build us some speed. Let's build us some speed. Let's build us some speed. Oh, you're done. You're done. What the hell? What the hell? I forgot to put subtitles. <laughs> Okay, here we go. We're looking for sis, big sis, cause somebody killing niggas. At least that's what I'm assuming. I was on my phone. Alright, uh, huh. Tiger. Damn! <laughs> no, my boy, what a trolley, no! Well, we definitely ain't going there. That is actually a really good way to show. Alright, we gotta. We gotta pick up speed for that red one. Uh, oh my god, I lost all my speed. I guess that's where you're headed, but be careful. Don't tell him what's going on there. Why is he like a mobster? Is this even New York? You know, he was running for mayor, right? Finally, someone who could actually make a difference in this place. I'm sorry, I'm just not believing somebody with that thick and Italian accent does not weigh more than 300 pounds. Oh, there it is. Oh, I'm so dead. <sighs> oh my god, this checkpoint system is AIDS. So I'm gonna level with you. I'm not fond of platformers. Like, I don't hate them. But generally, when I hear a new game is like a platformer, I, you know, I do a bit of a grimacing and I'm like, eh, I'll give it a shot later. Then it takes me five years to do it. And I say this, but one of my top three games of all times is a platformer. Cuphead. That game literally has so much going on for it on its own outside of its gameplay elements that it's just in another stratosphere personally. It was catering to really preconceived aesthetics that I loved. So that was an insta play. The point is, genre wise, it's not a first pick. It's not even a tenth pick. So anyways, I played the game until uh, chapter 9, the beginning of it at least. And uh... It, it's kind of made me hate platformers more. Now please, 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 please put the guns down. 
let me explain myself. Issues number one checkpoint system. Now generally platformers tend to run off the element of trial and error. Let's take it back to Super Mario Bros days. First time playing, jumping around, you know, getting a general feel for the game. And oh, I've jumped into a hole. Probably shouldn't do that again. Like, hey, I'm not supposed to give a Goomba a big hug. I'm gonna pull a Reyna from Tekken and stomp him with my soft, delicate, flushed, dainty, delicious feet. The point is, you're meant to die and try again. And then maybe when you're done with the level, you can come back and try and optimize your path or pick a whole different path as there's multiple ways of going about this whole situation. But you need a strong checkpoint system. And when is this checkpoint system? Can't be very inconsistent. Sometimes the checkpoints even fail in cutscenes, which of course, uh, it happened to your boy. That scared the hell out of me. Oh! Mama Buena! Fucking hell! Oh yeah! This dude means fast business, bro. Oh! Still fast as fuck, boy. No, oh, so I was supposed to react to that. No, I can quite readily acknowledge that, hey. I'm not the best platformer, okay? But hey, you don't have to kick me down so far. Sometimes it's the bloody start of the level. This is more so a flagrant issue in the cutscenes and sometimes just in the general missions. But as I've said, it's extremely inconsistent. You really can't tell when it's gonna happen. With the frequency of when it appears, I'm willing to say this is kind of a minor issue. Number two, input. Now this is one I'm a bit shaky on because maybe it is my PC, it might be my keyboard, I don't know. The keyboard is new, so I'm not too sure on it. Now I'm running vanilla my pc so maybe that's my fault but quiet down but there's a fun boy okay you couldn't even play fallout 3 on pc for a year sometimes when i'm running and wanting to jump on like uh, those trampoline objects the ones that specifically propel you to higher objects to grab you know it's like the spacebar says sayonara it happens so much that i cleaned specifically my spacebar keycap and it was still persisting fuck sake <sighs> I didn't have a key cap remover, so fuck off. Oh! Oh my god, get the fuck off it! Yeah, I can't get it off to demonstrate. But I took it off and I used my little keyboard toothbrush to clean in between. And yes, I do use a toothbrush. Brother, ugh. So I tried messing around with this, and to be honest, it's kind of inconclusive because. It might be a thing of hitting it at a specific angle that they want you to, but that was also inconsistent. Maybe you're not supposed to spam the spacebar all the time. I've tried it. It works sometimes. It doesn't work other times. But all I know is when you're in the middle of those blood boiling chases and you're about to hit those trampoline objects and your spacebar takes a shit. Brother. And you need this to be seamless. Remember, this is something we're using practically every half second. tried looking it up online i seem to be the only one with the problem so i'm kind of gonna make that a, like a 50 50 issue technical issues this is one of the things that i completely despise about this game and honestly soured it from the fucking beginning crashing do not alt tab this game at all it's like a fucking source game you alt tab your computer is locked goodbye start again vertical sync most times your vertical syncing game will take a shit and it turns into a damn powerpoint in game now the general fix is nvidia global settings if you have amd i'm sorry you're broke force vsync on that hole and you're good except don't think about closing the game sir <laughs> what are you doing what? you're tired well in that case have fun relaunching the game and finding out all your settings are gone and you need to do them again filling with nvidia global settings and you're not keeping the same vsync option no 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 that would be too easy you have to go through the vsync drop down menu and pick one and test each one and remember you can't alt tab from the game it's gonna crash so you have to close the game try a setting open up the game oh no it's not worked close the game again try another setting blah 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 blah, blah. you get the fucking point and that's pretty much it honestly oh yeah don't don't turn on physics don't do it number four why the fuck are there unskippable cutscenes at the start of the game for christ's sake I mean, everything else, it's pretty bloody good. I mean, I can imagine that era. 2008. 
when that whole skating, BMX, parkour stuff was like at fever pitch. And then imagine a whole ass video game comes out about it and the protagonist is looking kinda... Shit. Mm, yeah. I mean, yeah, Assassin's Creed had parkour like a year earlier than this, but... Come on. Hot parkour lady. And honestly, this art style goes crazy too. It does sell the whole city controlled by an oppressive regime with its brutalist architecture, giving it an unnerving homogeneity that when any color that's not white or black pops out, it is loud and eye catching. Which also translates well into a core design of the parkour gameplay, where certain interactable events are red. The moment is pretty smooth, honestly, and it does have its little clunky, fucky wacky moments. But altogether, it's still solid, and in tandem with the freedom to pick multiple paths to platform through, can lead to some very cool sequences. So, all that is great and all, but you still ask me the question if you love it so much, then why is your video title that? Maybe, maybe I missed something, I left any stone unturned, but I've reached the last chapter. Oh. All these positive reviews, and I can see all the positives they're talking about for sure, but it's, it's still a man, not a perfection. You know what, fuck this piece of shit gay, I'm not gonna force myself to force this shit down my fucking throat because a couple of YouTube niggas said so, nigga, then get the fuck out of here. Depression. Hey, fuck this shit, I'm jerking off. Word of mouth, passing of information from person to person relating to any type of subject matter. Now word of mouth can be a great thing, allows us to pay attention to a particular subject that we would have not otherwise due to our own preferences and biases. But it also can have a nasty effect, especially when that subject matter is a popular one that is held in such high regard but you on the other hand may not click with. And of course due to sudden pressure, you feel inclined to lean in with them than out with them. It is somewhat of an archaic wiring that makes us resist to differing from groups on certain subjects. It helps tribes be tight-knit and prevented conflicts within friends. Luckily I don't have friends and I'm getting tired of this psychoanalysis. So after laying out a somewhat objective case on Mirror's Edge, I'm gonna give a strictly subjective one from this point forward. Are you ready? Please do not shoot me. <laughs> Mirror's Edge has a boring story. Great gameplay, great music, great art style, dodgy optimization. That's 3 to 2 for the good and bad. Let's go through the good. I usually hyper focus during this game so that I can get a particularly smooth run and not actively miss my inputs. So generally, I'd say the music is foregone. Hell, I even had to search it up on YouTube first to listen to it back, and it was a banger. But as I've said, if that's how I already interact with the game, then I might as well just watch the music on YouTube. The platforming was good, but if you remember what I said in the beginning, I'm not fond of platformers. Now, its presentation as a parkour game does move it up definitely. But I feel that other platformers that are more by the book do a far better job than this game and give us more in terms of story, music and gameplay depth. And I'm gonna forego all of that just to play a parkour game? No son. There's one irrefutable positive here. The art style. So truthfully, this game's chances was fucked from the start. And that's okay. The YouTube videos that I watched concerning this game that gave me certain perspectives kind of succeeded in their mission on relaying that info to me. And the positives they talk about, I do see in the game. But it's clearly not enough for me. And that's okay. I'm not gonna force myself that I like this game because of the mass appeal. Now, does that mean it's an objectively bad game? That is absolutely not true. Which is why I'm doing a bit of out of mouth right now. Maybe you like it. Give it a whirl and see for yourself. There's enough here at the very least to take a look. And past that, it's all up to your preferences really. And now, 
as I sit here, having pawned off the game to CEX and getting... <laughs> I relax, knowing I gave Mirizaj a whirl. Some objective reasons, the technicalities and such, but mostly subjective reasons. And I've semi laid out my experience with it right here. And I leave it to you to try yourself. And if you have tried it, write something in the comment section about how you feel about it. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go Google some. Aish, I'm part of my body's reason.